And now you'll see actual Delphine, the tape, the images. This is made a combina out of a combination of film and video footage. So again, you'll see the beginning, and then you'll see the middle, and then I think you'll see the end. There's just cuts in between. The whole thing is 20 minutes long or something. This is the world's uh, leading uh, uh, cetacean rights uh, uh, specialist, essentially, activist, who took me. Yeah, these are film, the grainy, grainy slowed down ones are film, the smooth, uh, ones that are more clear and are in real time or video. That's film, that's film, that's film, and that's video. So now you're looking at video, video, film, and film. And now video on all screens. So we originally started out, you know, this is a pod of dolphins that Rick knows, which is why I went with him. And um, more and more and more came. He's very sort of tight with these dolphins till it was actually sort of scary. There were like 40 or 50 by the time we were done filming.
This is a baby here on the left with his mother. And so this is the end. You've just seen chunks of it. And it is all synchronized, so when I show it to you this way, this is the way you would have seen it in the installation, all these shots at the same time. And the piece ends with the camera looking up at the sun and then fades to black. Okay, that's the end of that tape, or that DVD. Can we turn on the light a second? Well, that's just, I hope you got, I hope it's, I'm sorry it's so abbreviated, but okay, so let's put this one in. Now I'm going to show you um, just a body of work that I made with, this is an exhibition, but I'm only going to show you one chunk of work. Uh, it's a body of work that I made with um, rescued tigers. And like I said, I don't work, after a certain point in my career, I no longer worked with trained animals. I only worked with free animals. Or in the case of someone like tigers, um, I worked with rescued tigers. So, because politically I, I won't work with trained animals or captive animals. So a rescued animal is sometimes where I end up. Tigers aren't exactly easy to find. So, hmm? Okay, I'm going to speed through this. Let me see. Let's just see where we go first. This is my gallery in London, Haunch of Venison, and I'm just going to go through this until I get to the chunk of work I want to show you. It's a, a, an exhibition space. It has three floors. And I installed work on all three floors, but I'm just going to show you the top floor. This is a work I made in, um, just briefly in Michoacan in the mountains. I filmed the monarch butterfly migration. And then I made a whole body of work with that. Usually I do one thing and then make a sort of a large body of work out of it. And that is the sky during the butterfly migration in Michoacan. Uh, they're split by the Rockies. These are the ones from the East Coast. Central California is uh, west of the Rockies, so they're actually... These butterflies go to Michoacan for the winter, and Central California, they come to, like, uh, Pismo Beach in Santa Barbara. Now we're going to go up to the third floor, and you're going to see the tiger work that I made. And this work is um, sort of complicated. It's all shot in 35 millimeter film. And these are shown just as individual pieces. They are made with three tigers who were rescued from black market, um, people who kept sold tigers on the black market. This is a piece called Perfect Devotion One. It's a, a camera-made double exposure, which is something you don't see anymore. It's a kind of extinct, in quotes, uh, technique. This is the second one. This is a, 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 each of these, there are 10 of them. Each one is a different roll of film, roll of 35 millimeter film. Um, and each one is cut, shot, and presented. Uh, they're all presented the same, but each one is cut and shot differently. It's kind of a 10-part essay in filmmaking in a way. So there's the double exposure uncut. Now you have the sequencing with cuts. Now you're doing it all with one camera, so what looks like a match is not. The star of the film is a tiger named Zoe, um, and she is blind. She has no eyes. She was made blind by being uh, beaten by human beings on the head. Um, but I didn't know that till I got there and realized that the star tiger was blind, which is sort of um, amazing. That's the third piece, and that's just a still shot from overhead. And I remember there are 10 of them, so there are seven more of these that exercise all different kinds of sort of technical 